Welcome back to the Twin Sisters channel. Today we're going to be reviewing something different. Keep. Instead of reviewing the toy, we're going to be building something out of Lego. So this is like a tutorial video to make what I'm going to make in the video. And in the end, you'll see what I'll make. So you want to start with this piece. You want to use the same color. But you still need this piece. Well, you don't have to use the same color, like I said. Then you want to take like this piece and another piece and put them together like that. And then you have your back. And cape. So, yeah, like we'll see. Get those two pieces. And first, I'll show you what we need. So, this is everything we need. So these are the pieces you need. And this piece will probably be like easy to like take up parts you don't want in there. But let's get building. Okay. So like this part, put it off. Then you get this part, put it like that. You get this part, then you put it like that. So it should be looking like this right now. Then you get this part, and they don't all have to be the same color, and they don't have to be the colors that I have. You can do any color you want. It's supposed to be colorful. And this piece I just found, you can use like one of these again, you don't have to find, try to find this. And then now we have what, four legs and a body. So then let's go to the next part, the head. So you want to get these pieces, any color, like sure. Okay, then the then it comes to these. Put this here. I'll bring it back. Okay, and then you want to take another piece. This piece. Put it right here. And then you want to take another piece and put it right there. So far, it should look like this. And then you want to take another piece. But we're not going to fill the whole thing in. Then you take this piece and you put it right there. It might be looking like something to some of you, but others may not see what's happening. But you'll see in the end. So the first thing you should look at, and then you'll need these, any, these, any color you want, but they need to be this if you want to make it, and the first, this one like that, but no, this one look like that. So it should be looking, your two pieces should be looking like this. And then, you need these two pieces, you put them up here, so it should look like that. You want to make a gap back there, and I'll tell you later. Then you take another piece, you put it right there, 
And then VSP says you want to turn upside down. These two. The same as the bottom ones. So you want to take face, but then you probably and then you want to take it down. So it should look like this. Your first piece should look like that. These horn pieces are the best. Ones you can use because they look like teeth. Sharp teeth. And now you probably know why there's a hole there. And what I'm, I'm building. But you wouldn't want to put the pieces like the bottom one, because then they'll be like this. Then you'll turn them like this, then you stick it to the thing. And then it'll look like a mouth. And that bottom part is for like swallowing. So now you probably know it's like a creature or something. Probably not person. Okay. Then you want to take it and then put these on its head. So far, your, f your head should look like this. And then you take the head and you put it on here. Let me just make that part again. Okay, I rebuilt it. And I'm gonna put one like that. Don't forget to be very careful because you just saw what happened. So, look like. Oh no. Oh, I got the piece out of its mouth. So, if like, you wanna fix it, just take a part. If it, was t if it was teeth, you probably want to take it apart. If it was oh, the horns, you probably wouldn't want to take it. Yep. Back in there. If you want it to be easier, then you could take it out. Okay, then it comes to the next stage. The building stage. The big building stage. So, put this there. So we're going to do a layer of three, one, two, and three. It'll look like that. And then one, two, three. And then it comes to this part where it's free. Then this part is different. So you take one of these two by two blocks, and then you take another, and then you tilt it on the side a bit. Then it'll start to look like that. Then you'll turn your thing, and you grab another piece, and then you put it underneath where it's tail. And then again, and then again. Okay. 
you should look like that. If you want to keep going, go ahead. But you're probably going to find like another block. And you can keep going like that. But it's still be dragging on the ground. Well, let's just leave it. That. Wait. Probably just want to fill in. These like the other in layer. Oh, it's best to just keep it floating like that. It's still floating. Okay, then this piece will go here. And then this brown piece, you're probably thinking it will go up here, but it will not. It will go right next to it. And then you can just do two by twos. And then I have a big block to speed up the work. You can use any type of block as long as it's one like these. A little bit to the freeze, then that's fine. It doesn't have to look exactly like my blocks. Like this, and that you only have one block left. So you probably want to move it around. That correct. Can I drop a piece? We're missing some, so I'll go get some more. Okay, got some. So, get three more pieces. If you took all the pieces from there, add three more of these to it. Okay, then it will look like this. And then comes almost the final stage. Then you want to put like these thin plates on it. And then you have two choices. You can either make the wings look like this, when it's like resting wings, or you can do it in a different way. You can take these two big pieces, and then these two medium pieces, one piece. Then you take this thin piece, then you take this thinner piece, and then look like a big wing. And fold it. Then you put it right there. And it'll look like that. I'll do example one and example two. So you can see what it will look like. This example one will look like this for example one. And then example two will look like this. Example two is easier. Example one is the wings spread out to fly. Example two is the wings folded and not fly but walk. So we're going to do example one. I think it looks nice. You can do either example. Okay, then it looks like this. And then you'll get this piece right here. Then you put it right there. And then you probably come to mind, it's a dragon. This common mind will be a dragon. When it looks like this. Sharp teeth, horns. Well, what's missing? What is missing? Eyes, of course. Eyes. So we're gonna do these eyes. 
course, you can do it in different kinds like sleeping eyes or attacking angry eyes, happy eyes. Happy eyes and angry eyes are the same eyes. They just flipped around. But I'm going to do regular eyes. Now, this piece comes in handy if you don't have Lego removers, which you probably get one in a set or something. But like if you lost it like I did, you probably this, this tail-ish piece will come in handy. Just like scrape. And you don't have to use your nails so they won't, won't hurt you. This piece is tough. Okay, I got it out. Okay, so this piece looks like it goes on this side. And this piece looks like it goes on the other. Because of course it goes on Then look like that. And then there. Your dragon is complete. But I I know why. But there's other things you can do with this dragon. You don't just have to like leave it on a bookshelf or shelf or something. You can play with it. Yeah, maybe sometimes it will break. There's no guarantee it won't break. But you can just fix it. And I just broke. And I can just fix it. It's easy as cake. So to watch the video. And I made this by myself using my own ideas. So not copyright. And you're driving the like jack. I'll be right back to show you how you could play with it. Okay, so these are the pieces I suggest you beat the dragon with because blocks won't fit in the dragon's mouth. So I'll take a piece, this piece, and I'll take the dragon, then I'll tilt it, and I'll put it in its mouth and eat it. And show you what I ate it. Yeah, that was it. And if you want to take it out, you can either there's two ways. You can just prep this out and put your hand in there, or you can shake the dragon and then barf it out. That's funny. And uh, that's it. The tutorial is ended. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye.